Good afternoon. My name is Marco Lutman. I'm coming from uh, Dereyi, Investment Management Limited uh, Company from Ljubljana. And I would like to tell you something about the maintenance of special equipment on bridges, special uh, practice uh, um, examples. Um, I would, uh, would uh, like to uh, point some uh, to, to um, um, a thema uh, <coughs> for this discussion. And the first is the maintenance of bridge bearings and expansion joints on motorways. And the second, as you heard uh, from Mr. Kushar, system solution of special equipment for bridge management uh, using uh, bridge manage management system. Um, the problems of maintenance of special bridge equipment is uh, with, uh, especially with increasing traffic load and also the aging of existing motorways and upgrading of the motorway uh, network. The number of necessary rehabilitation works is also increasing. Moreover, more demanding and more extensive maintenance is required as the main goal is to permanently fix individual <coughs> parts of the motorways. The challenges. There are 192 viaducts on Slovenia's motorways network, uh, 617 kilometers in total. According to the action plan for 2019 uh, uh, to 2022, uh, Dars is planning to reconstruct 69 bridges and uh, 32 million euro will be used to rehabilitate the bridges by 2022. Since uh, 2015, DAS has regularly maintained the expansion joints and also the bearings of bridging facilities that are kept in line with the latest requirements. The presentation focuses on technical challenges in the construction and the renovation of bridges due to specific border conditions, standardization for bridges in Europe, and the content and consequences of the revision of the new standard for the bearings. In the field of expansion joints, the most talked about question is the CE marking, in particular the experience and perspectives of the new regulations. There are some special needs uh, special bridge equipment will be presented and we are going to look at different types, scope and locations of damages of structural parts and the solution of its maintenance. System solutions are the most important in solving this problem, problem and the main points are focused on the newly developed BMS system 2. From as I said, 2015, we have regularly maintained expansion joints of motorway bridges that are equipped we, uh, according to the latest requirements, while at the same time, we have trained quite a few engineers to control the installation of spare parts in line with these requirements. By doing so, it is possible to prevent major defects and mistakes, which used to be a regular occurrence in Slovenia. In, 19, in 2018, uh, um, we expanded the contract with the maintenance of the bridge structure bearings too. And there are some case studies, first for structure bearings. At the left you can see um, a training in Ljubljana for Slovenian specialists for the installation of bridge bearings with the instructor from Stuttgart. And this is, um, this uh, exams uh, are planned for uh, every f five years. Um, at the right, you can see a detail of regular maintenance of structural bearings on viaducts managed by DARS. Um, in the in this slide, you can see um, 
um, lifting jacks for replacing a pair of beach bearings on the columns. And on the right, uh, it is um, a detail of replacing special sliding material, ultra high molecular weight polyethylene with spherical bearings. Uh, this is a rare, a rare practice. And more often is um, PTFE place uh, are used. In this case, this you can see uh, on the left is, is insufficient under pouring of the port bearing on the column. Um, this were, there were a few cases uh, of this. And uh, at right, replacing the deformed port with a new one. Um, <coughs> corrosion is also the problem of steel uh, bearings. And uh, at the left, you can see uh, an, an old port bearing on the column uh, of uh, viaduct uh, here, Reber, in south region of Slovenia. Uh, the right, you can see uh, new uh, bearings, um, which uh, would be um, um, prepared for the replacing. Uh, it's often also that uh, elastomeric bearing fell out off from the side abutment. And this is the situation of Viaduct Vesnica, in the north region of Slovenia. And the solution was to replace uh, mm, damaged um, elastomeric pads and to reinforce with equipped with uh, restraints. Uh, I would like to show also uh, some case studies, studies on expansion joints. Um, Met expansion joints, uh, which I use uh, especially in Italy and also in Slovenia and in the coastal region, uh, it's a problem mm, because in our country we, um, we use snow plows and this is not uh, well for this kind of uh, joints. So Steel plates inside elements are uh, often damaged by snow plows. So um, at the right uh, picture, you can see a solution with transition zone or asphalt or concrete with, uh, equipped with additional epoxy uh, ribbons. Uh, for no nosing expression joints, is uh, the steep edge profile. Um, was not covered enough with concrete and the expansion joint vibrated. Uh, there are also several cases of this um, uh, phenomenon. And on the right, um, because the, the traffic uh, should uh, pass uh, immediately, uh, transition zone, a new pouring with metal concrete uh, was uh, performed as a finishing and correct uh, action. Um, for modular expansion uh, steel joints, um, the problem is uh, the EPDM watertight seal, uh, um, especially um, in, um, in the case of uh, a line track, um, is often penetrated by grains of stone grace, so it is necessary to change uh, the seal. Um, modular expansion joints also with, uh, equipped with uh, so-called diamond elements um, are often damaged by a snow plow. So in this case, it is necessary to replace the element with a new one. In the year uh, 2018, there started the implementation of, of uh, BMSE. BMS, Bridge Management System, and considering the fact that financial resources have become continually, continuously tighter, the maintenance costs have to be spent in a way to obtain the greatest uh, possible benefits. Authorities, Slovenian authorities, DARS and DLSAE are to be supplied with um, recommendations for performing improvements on structures in compliance with given strategies and budgetary restrictions. And computer program, the teams are currently, is currently being prepared. 
However, some essential issues have to be uh, resolved. And um, for the purpose of def defining the actual conditions of elements, special equipment, or their wearing resistance, we propose the following lifespans separately for DARS and DLSE. For DARS, um, we planned for bearings um, 40 years, for expansion zones 25 years, and uh, other safety equipment 40 years. For DLSE, it depends on the region. For coastal, continental, and alpine, it's the same uh, for bearings and expansion joists. In the case of bearings, 55 years, and in the case of expansion joists, joints, 30 years. And for safety equipment, it's a, a, a little difference between coastal and continental and alpine um, um, region from 40 to 30 years. And that's all, and uh, we'll thank you for your attention, and um, this is all. Thank you. <laughs> thank you very much for yeah. the presentation. They were uh, really nicely complimentary, starting with Sakti, uh, Matei, and yours. If there are any questions, please. I was just wondering, uh, how do you ensure that the workers are doing the right job? <coughs> I think yeah. that's essential. Um, we have also instructions in the um, paper um, 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 form, you know, uh, these um, uh, manuals um, for workers, for uh, these teams, and um, uh, we call uh, uh, train seminars for these workers. And also, uh, we have a keep of inspectors uh, who inspect uh, the work in the field. So I think uh, that the organization of this work is very in the very high level. Mm. I think uh, similar like in Austria and in, or in Germany. And all, all um, these uh, all equips, equips uh, are also there are some engineers there. Uh, mm. machine engineers or uh, civil engineers to control also the, the, the whole process. And uh, we use only original spare parts. Uh, and uh, in, some, in some cases also, uh, um, because of the uh, lack of time, we in sometimes also improvise, in some improvisations we made, but this is only exception, you know. So these teams are really yeah, skilled. And everything uh, is regulated uh, from I these Germans, essential. from producers from Germany and Austria for this mm. uh, special equipment. Any other question or comment? If not, thank you very much. Thank you.